Most Conservative leadership contests in recent years have been in opposition, where the winner has had several years to play themselves in before taking up the reins as Prime Minister. This one is different. The successful candidate will be in number 10 by early September. This is not a political parlour game. The winner of this contest on day one will be asked to set out the instructions for the use of our nuclear deterrent. They will receive a call from Mr Putin and be expected to drive our international policy against the threats of Islamist extremism, including in the Middle East. This is not the political equivalent of Britain's Got Talent. It matters. Having worked as a minister in the Foreign Office, as the Treasury and the DTI Whip, the Shadow Health Secretary, Conservative Party Chairman, Shadow Foreign Secretary and Secretary of State for Defence, I believe I bring the necessary breadth of experience to oversee the changes we will require. I have sat around the table with the American President, with Chancellor Merkel and others. I have strong links politically in Washington at a time when we will need to develop a strong relationship with the incoming administration. I have visited our troops in the mountains of Afghanistan and the deserts of Iraq. The first duty of government is the security of its people. To that, I am fully and unequivocally committed. Politics is not a game.